Hi, my name is Corey Holden, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawk Ridge Systems. And this video is a continuation on from SOLIDWORKS Treehouse 1. So the first thing that you'll notice is there's a couple more components added to my tree. For example, this subassembly has now been completed, and there's a couple more components that have been added at this second level of my assembly here. So what I want to do is I want to take a little bit more of an in-depth look at some of the features and capabilities of SOLIDWORKS Treehouse. So first off, what happens when I've got my assembly completely created and I want to add some drawings in? Well, I can of course always do that later down the road inside SOLIDWORKS, or I can take advantage of some of the features of Treehouse in order to add my drawings in. So notice there's a drawings template here on the left hand side of my Treehouse. So I can pick any of my drawing templates and all I have to do is drag and drop this onto the level of the assembly that I want a drawing created for. So if I want a top level assembly drawing, I just click my template, drag and drop it onto that top level assembly template. And notice now what SOLIDWORKS is going to do is when I eventually export these documents to SOLIDWORKS, it's going to create a drawing for that top level assembly for me. Now some of the other capabilities of Treehouse are pretty neat as well, is I can have um, the ability to manipulate my configurations in here. So for example, notice when I hover over this part, these icons appear. First off, in the corner, I can edit how many components I'm actually using. All I have to do is type in a 2 if I want multiple of these components. Or I can use the configurations option over here. So I'll click on my configurations option. When I open this up, notice I have multiple configurations of this pin available. Well, I can also add configurations. So at any point, I can just type in a new configuration name and create more configurations. Besides that, I can decide how many of each particular configuration I want to add to my model. So for example, if I just click to add a configuration instance, notice it's going to double up the pin long over here in my treehouse structure. Also, if I wanted to add a version of one of the other configurations, I just click to add here, and it's going to add that a separate spot in my tree and show it they're linked because they're just different configurations of the same thing. Now besides having different configurations of the same part, something you can also do is you have these document properties down here. Inside your document properties, some of the things you could do is add who created the part, you could add comments, things that you want people to see down the road. So this is more helpful from a clerical point of view. Now, once my entire tree is created, I'm ready to actually make this as a SOLIDWORKS assembly. So when I'm all ready to create this, all I have to do is come to the icon up here for export to SOLIDWORKS documents and click on it. When I click on it, I'm going to want a destination folder for this, so I'll place it on my desktop. And again, it's just going to ask me if I want to back up any files that need to be saved in the latest version. So I'll accept that, click OK and Treehouse is automatically going to launch SOLIDWORKS. The next thing it's going to do is it's actually going to build all of my files for me. So it's going to build the assembly for me, it's going to build the subassembly for me, and it's going to build the drawing for me. Now this isn't an automatic fix-all. So for example, it's going to build the exact feature manager design tree that I want with all the right components in their right levels. The only problem is, is it's not going to create the entire thing for me. For example, I haven't done any mates in here, so it doesn't know which parts go together. All it's done is it's created a feature manager design tree and all the necessary documents for my treehouse parts and components. So again, it's really helpful as an organizational tool. It's going to put all the stuff in the right place, but you are still going to have to go in and make all the necessary mates and references. So in this video, we took a more in-depth look at using the SOLIDWORKS Treehouse features. Thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawk Ridge Systems.